Hey what's up guys in this video we are going to talk about inner classes in java. Classes that are wrapped around some outer class is called inner class. The inner classes can be nested inner class, it can be anonymous inner class or it can be method inner class. In this video we are going to talk about nested inner class in java. Nested inner classes are direct member of some outer class. Like an example if we have one class called outer then inside the outer class we can have some direct nested inner class. Like we can have one class called inner which is the direct member of the outer class and the inner class can have its own member. So here we have one outer class and inside the outer class we have one nested inner class. Now to create one object of the inner class we need outer class name dot inner class name and then the name of the object and then we have to write new outer which is the instance of the outer class dot new inner and this way we can create object of the inner class and then we can use the object and access the members of the inner class. So in this example program we have one class called outer and inside the outer class we are going to create one nested inner class. So I am going to write class inner and inside the nested inner class I am going to create one method called display and this method will print nested in our class onto the console and now inside the main method I'm gonna create object of the inner class so I'm gonna write outer class name dot inner class name and then the object I'm gonna call it obj and then I need the instance of the outer class so I'm gonna write new outer dot new inner and this way we can create object obj and then I'm gonna use the object and call the display method of the nested inner class so I'm gonna save the program now I'm gonna compile and run the program and you can see the output is nested inner class so in Java we can have one class nested inside some outer class and to create object of the inner class we need to write outer class name dot inner class name and then the object and then we need the outer class instance to access the inner class constructor that's why we have written new outer dot new inner and this way we can create the object of the inner class and we can use the object and access the member of the inner class so hope you understand the concept of nested inner class in java we'll see you in the next one thank you